Hey, this is Charlie Goodpasture with Castle Blast, and uh, here's my in the bag for 2020. We're gonna start off with my uh, putting putters. I use the K3 Rico. It's a slimmer putter. It's got a small micro bead on the bottom. Fits good in the hand, and the, the K3 plastic's just great. It's very grippy. Loves to uh, grab the chains and sit in the basket. Just gotta put it there. And when I catch myself just off the green, a little bit further away, I uh, lean heavily on my K1 Berg. It's they're premium plastic. It's not the stiffest, but it's got a good rigid feel to it. It's a very unique disc. Uh, the shape on the top, it kind of drops down, but if it's really good in your hand, I, I love this disc. I can throw it forehand, backhand. I actually threw it for a roller today to save par on 15 at Maple Hill, and uh, it worked. Um, it one of the first times I threw a roller with it, and uh, very happy with this disc overall, though. I, I've got two of them. Uh, just in case and I also throw some K1 Rico there uh, it's the same as my putting putter but it um, it's in their premium plastic in the K1 I really like how they beat up I've had this one in the bag for probably about since this the beginning of this year but I haven't played half the year with COVID going on so it's still pretty fresh, but this is kind of my turnover Rico, and this one is a little bit more overstable. It's a newer run from this year. And then we'll move along to the K3 Cax. It's something that I didn't throw for the first year, and uh, it's something that I found after I uh, was suggested by a teammate to try them out, and I love how this disc is beat up. It's definitely uh, seen some trees and um, I'm loving it. It's great for hyzer flip. It, it's very dependable. Uh, I know it's going to go right when I need it to, and uh, like I said, the K3 is very grippy, so when it gets wet out, I, I lean on this disc quite a bit. I've also got a newer one in the bag. I haven't thrown it that much, um, so whenever I need something a little bit more overstable, that's what I lean towards. And for my main mid-range, I throw the Yota. This is actually a limited edition run that I ran in 2019. It features a Golden Dust Gecko and my signature. It's also got the Aloha blank space. I was born in Hawaii, so this disc is pretty special to me. Um, it's in their pearl plastic. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it flies pretty straight. It can be overstable if you put it on a hyzer. It's kind of just like an all-around utility disc. Um, I, I use it quite a bit pretty much for all my mid-range shots. The, the Cax is um, kind of secondary to this disc. All right, so we're gonna move on over to my Falk. It's uh, my understable fairway driver. I've got three of them in the bag. I've uh, recently added two during quarantine when I was throwing in Michigan. I was playing quite a bit of golf after Ledgestone, um, but we'll get to those last. We're gonna start off with my Blue Falk. This is the one that I threw at Throwdown the Mountain. I don't know, I've, I've beat it up a lot. It's not flying like it used to, so I, it's, it's kind of taking a back seat right now. I need to uh, get out in the field and, and throw this some more. Uh, I've been relying more on this yellow one. You'll see uh, me throwing it probably for a while. I really like the stability of this run. These came out uh, earlier this year, and I can throw it hard with a hyzer and know that it's gonna flip up and go straight and turn over if I throw it flat enough, but it's still got a good amount of stability for a Falk and I really enjoy that. Um, this was the Falk you guys saw me throwing out at Maple on hole seven. Um, just a very straight disc. You throw this thing hard with a hyzer and it flips up and just holds the line. It's a very fun to throw disc. I'm, I'm really digging the, the flight on this one, so hoping when I get back home I've got a couple more, um, but if not, I'll, I'll find another one to fill that slot in the bag. But the Falk is definitely a, a very fun disc to throw. It's uh, it's a speed, yeah, it's a speed nine, and that's just like uh, the Lutz, the next disc we're gonna move on to. This year, uh, I chose for my Tour Series disc the K1 Lutz, and I got to kind of pick the color that I, it was gonna be um, run in. This is one of the variations, it's kind of like a gold run, 
and it's one of the first discs I picked out of the batch and started throwing and I absolutely love it. Not only is it beautiful, but it, it flies pretty much wherever you put it. It's got a good amount of stability for me. I can throw it hard flat and aim off to the right of my target and know that it's gonna go about 400 feet on a pretty straight line. And if I wanna throw like a big Anheuser with it, it will, uh, It'll hold it pretty good, but it's got the stability to fight out of it so it's, so it's not digging into the ground and getting you into trouble. But I'm, I'm really, really throwing um, this disc more than the Falk right now. But if I'm in the woods, I need the under, under stability. I'm definitely going to lean towards the Falk. But the Lutz has become a pretty big staple in my bag immediately. I, uh, once I got them in, I went outside of my house and I started throwing them in a field. And I found three different ones that all flew a little bit differently. So those have kind of made the bag. And the black stamp one, it goes pretty straight, it, but it still hooks up at the end. And uh, the green glitter, it tends to be the most overstable. I can throw it hard and flat and know that it's gonna come back and fade for me. And this purple stamp one, I was very surprised how much it flipped over and turned uh, for me, but it's uh, it's nice to have the different stability amongst the run. Uh, I like to keep the mold simple and just kind of get a get a different instability amongst them. And we're going to uh, move on to the stall. This is the overstable fairway driver for Castaplast. I'm I've really fallen in love with this disc. It's very reliable. Something that you can really really put the heat on and like turn over your fairway driver on like a 300, 320, like hole eight here at Maple. I'm throwing it hard and flat off to the right and letting it just stall out to the basket. So it's, um, it's dependable for me. I really like how overstable it is. It's not, it's not like the most overstable, so you can still shape your shots with it, but this one tends to be a little bit more overstable. It's a freshie. I just put it in the bag. I lost my tie-dye one that I've been rocking for a while, hoping to get it back later today. Um, but um, this is the one that's going to replace it. If not, it's uh, got a little bit of pop to it, but it's definitely overstable. And just like a touch more stable than the blue to kind of fight the wind when you need it, that extra dependability when the winds kick up because it gets, uh, gets windy quick. All right, so we're gonna move on to the Grimax. That's uh, the last disc in my bag. It's my maximum distance driver, and I've got six of them in there right now. I'm kind of stuck on this run from 2017. You'll notice uh, amongst the stamps, these are the big X Grimaxes. So it's a little bit older of a run, and then now they're doing them where it's a, a smaller X. So this is a very pop top run. And I mean, you can hear the heartbeat in it and they're very overstable compared to the regular Grim X, which tends to be a, a pretty neutral uh, distance driver. I've uh, found the, the variance in stability to be nice because I can throw um, the same disc, but I can throw it for my very overstable distance shots and my straighter shots and then also my understable shots. Um, I've uh, been using the yellow one for a roller and also an air shot disc quite a bit recently. I, I like the way this disc fits in my hand. It's a sh more of a shallow rim, thinner than most uh, big rim drivers. So that's another reason I've like really enjoyed this disc. And the last one I've got, it's another Grim X. It's a white one. It's a big X as you can see. And I really like how neutral this one is. I can throw it flat and know that it's not gonna really turn on me either way. Um, so that's, uh, that's it for the Grim Xs and I always, keep my quick stick with me in my bag. This thing will help you get your disc out of the lake when you chuck it in there because I'm from Florida, Cliff Stevens, my home course. So it's just, it's really nice when you miss fire and chuck one in the water to, to get it out real quick. Shout out to LaVon Wolf for that. And um, I'd like to give my sponsors a big thank you because none of this would be possible without them. Uh, Castplast, of course, Sun King Discs, SoFly. Oh, I almost forgot about my SoFly. It's in the little hidden compartment. So this is my SoFly. This is what you'll see me using when I've got to get down on a knee and it's like some hard packed ground. Um, it's just, it's really nice. It gives you that extra confidence to put the weight down on your knee and not hurt yourself. And it just it's one less thing to think about when you're out there putting and trying to get that, get that stroke that you need. So uh, check out SoFly if you need one. Um, they're, they're really useful though. I love my SoFly. 
when uh, I have trouble with my grip and I'm, I've got like slimy fingers, like today I was struggling a little bit. I didn't have this with me and I'll have it with me tomorrow. This is my bogey free bag. It gives you a good amount of chalk. You can see it really helps though when you need to grip your disc and you're struggling, it's a little humid out like it was today. Um, but yeah, bogey free bags are really useful for keeping your hands dry and getting the grip you need to execute your shots. Well, that's my 2020 in the bag. So what I've got in there right now, things are definitely gonna change up once I get back home. I've got a lot of practice ahead of me. I'm very excited for uh, the future with Castle Plast. Plastic's amazing. And uh, I'll see you guys out there. Let's cast the plastic.